What is a biologic drug? Most drugs, like aspirin, are called small molecule drugs because the molecules are small. And because they're small, they're fairly easy to make by mixing different chemicals together. Other medicines, insulin for example, are much bigger molecules. Some of the most exciting cancer drugs today are based on antibodies, which are about a thousand times bigger than aspirin. It's like comparing a wrench to a bulldozer in size and complexity. Instead of using chemistry to build these huge molecules, the field of bioprocessing outsources that job to biology using living cells. Cells are molecule building factories. We can add a gene for the drug we need into the cell and have the cell build the molecule we're looking for. But living things are complicated. In the right conditions, plants flourish, but too much water, sunlight, or heat, and plants die. How do you make cells grow well and plentifully? That is the question upstream bioprocessing engineers work on. Like with plants, you start with a seed and find the right conditions for your growth before you scale up to a greenhouse of hundreds of plants. Upstream bioprocessing starts with engineering the right cell and then adjusting growth conditions such as temperature, waste, and circulation as you scale up your bioreactor size to keep your cellular crop growing well. The next step is harvest, which isn't as easy as picking fruit. First, you take your chunky soup of cell parts and molecules and remove the biggest chunks using a process that separates things out by size, kind of like a sieve. This extraction yields a clear broth full of lots of molecules, including those you don't need. Next, engineers use filtration by chromatography columns to purify their target away from other molecules. Bioprocessing is about combining engineering and the life sciences to find the right solution to help cells grow complex molecules and vaccines for diseases like COVID-19, cancer, and diabetes.